Good morning, welcome to Business First. My name is Nyasha Mananga. Today, today is Wednesday and we are doing Women Business Wednesday this morning. As you know, the show has been brought to you by CBZ Bank, who are our partners for success. I'm joined today on Women Business Wednesday by a phenomenal entrepreneur. Her name is Chiko Chiponza. She is senior partner for GAA Associates. Chiko, thank you so much for coming on to Business First and a big welcome. Thank you for having me today. All right. Um, Chico, we want to just get to know your business journey a little sure. bit. Um, our show here likes to focus on women who are making waves in business. Yeah. And uh, your story definitely is an inspiring story. Can you tell us a little bit about that journey, your business journey? Uh, June 2009. Makes it mm -hmm. 10 years in business this June. Um, I just decided um, enough with employment. I'm unconventional. To my, I do not believe in boundaries. Well, the right kind of boundaries are good, mm. but what it meant was the financial freedom, the freedom to be me, to be expressive, is what um, launched me into starting my own little baby. I was alone mm. for uh, three years. 2012 June is when I had the first employee who has become a junior partner. But it's been a journey of wanting to be expressive in business, mm. uh, wanting to be impacting in many businesses, because as a small, as a, an accounting firm, we're involved in other people's businesses. Mm. Our other people's business is our business. So that journey was from employment, formal employment, to mm. wanting to be uh, more expressive and impact my knowledge on accounting, on tax, on paperwork, to other young entrepreneurs, small businesses who are growing. That is how the journey began. Mm. Over the years, over the 10 years, it's been the small to medium scale enterprises who we've been working with and growing with. Yeah, I guess, and there's a story for small businesses that is. if you don't get your accounting correctly, and if you don't get your records correctly, that can easily hamper even the growth of your own businesses. So I can imagine that your work is definitely has a place in the market. That's true. Okay, you did touch on your motivation for getting into business. You talk about self-expression and yes. being able to have the financial um, independence. Tell us a little bit more. I mean, for somebody listening, I mean, some of mm. those words can sound very... Um, go over the head for people. What right. does it mean to self-express in business? I would say it is who you are naturally. Your talent, your passion should show in what you do. So in terms of uh, passion in running a business, it's what drives you. So for a young person or for anyone who's wanting to start out in business, what they're looking for is what drives them. So for me, I knew at 15 that I did not want to necessarily report to anyone, but of course the discipline of working for someone is important mm, for mm. anyone in business. But from then on, I knew that I wanted to call my own hours, mm. um, in other words, regulate my own income. Um, but in what businesses generally, generic businesses, they have got a way of dealing with paperwork, with systems. Mm. They don't have to be boring. Why do they have to be boring? Why do they have to be conventional? So I'm coming in with passion. So I'm thinking, what is your passion? What drives you? And that should be A, for example, what the type of line of work you should be in your career, your business, mm. or what you engage and spend most of your time in. So in wanting to keep it simple, I would say self-motivation is what comes from it then, is what you express with that. Wow, okay. Um, practically, yes. what does that look like? Um, yeah. How how do you, how do you get to start? Okay, you realize this passion within yes. you, and you realize what you are trying to do in life yes. in terms of your career and business. Yes. Where do you start from? How did you start? So as for me, I did. It was a service. It was accounting. It was order. Very. I love order. It's who I am. So back to who am I in within? Mm. And I love direction. I love plan. I love a vision. So what it meant was. Accounting and admin, for example, for me, was that I'm very, I want detail. Mm. So accounting is detail, it's figures, it's planning. So that my work, which became a career, then a business, was what my qualities as an individual. Mm -hmm. So it's a big expression of what I am within. So yeah. identifying my, my strengths, and that was, those are some of my strengths, of course. Mm. So as for anyone out there who's starting out, is knowing what you're good at. 
Zimbabwe sometimes is not the right environment for, for your passions, but you do can then, so that means maybe you're not branching out to exactly what you want to be, but you start somewhere. Mm. So if it means being employed and you do get a job, if you're blessed enough for the job and the, an opportunity comes, it means you are joining a, a firm, but you are just being expressive. So yes, it may be a job. If it's a business, you're starting small, mm. you're thinking big, you're starting now. Usually, um, you do not have excuses. What do you have? If it's capital, well done, then you go. If it's people, you use your networks. If it's a skill, then it's work or provide mm. a service. So mm. you have to start with what you have. Mm. Yes, I really like that. I really like that. And we almost get the software of your business right. very clearly in, in terms of what drives the business yes. internally. Tell us some more in terms of how the rubber meets the road. The road. You've got an accounting service background yes. as a career or as a skill or yes. as a qualification yes. and you want to own it as your own business. Yes. Where, do, who do you, where do you start? Who do you tell? I've got accounting services that I offer. Um, where, where did it begin for you? For me, it began with, uh, I was waiting to get into an internet cafe back then, 10 years ago. And uh, I was waiting and I started talking to some a stranger and mm. she mentioned how her parents needed an accountant. And that's exactly how it started. So that's a start. Who are your networks? Who are you talking to? Do they add value? Um, what is the net worth of your network? Meaning the people you talk to, what value can you get from them? And the first thing you can do is open your mouth and talk, engage. So mm -hmm. that's one thing I did. And from there on, in our field, we are not allowed to advertise, although some have. But what has been happening is I did something small well, evidently, because they referred me to other, their friends. Wow. So my community of clients grew because people were talking to people about a girl who can help you manage your books, who can manage your finances and pay, make your paperwork right. Mm. That's how practically it began. Uh, it, yeah, that was in May. And then June I said, look, this, I actually wasn't sure what it was. I thought I was helping out a friend, a stranger that I met. Then June I realized, no, this is serious business because the referrals started coming in. And for the first six months of that, of 2009, I had about three clients, but over the years that the client base has grown to over 100 clients. Mm. Yeah, so what am I saying? Use the networks, talk, speak yeah. to people. So you've got to, you, you want to start with what you have exactly. Mm. And in accounting, for any aspiring accountants or those who've got the gift, it, it really is talking and, and, and helping out. It is yeah. stepping out and saying, what can I be practical, offer uh, yeah. a setup? It doesn't have to be a big business. It can be the lady baking cakes next door. But she just mm. wants to know if she's making a profit, we'll help her out. Yeah. Yeah, fill in a few returns, well, let's, let's help her out. Yeah, and yeah. you offer solutions. So the question is, did you charge on your first job? I think it's a question that entrepreneurs <laughs> struggle with. Your first person comes up to yeah. take up your service. Do you charge? Do you not charge because you want to keep them around? Do you want to impress? It's a difficult question. It is. The first job, this particular one, this lady, I did charge. But I remember I was so shy in charging uh, because I was new at it and I wasn't actually sure of, the, of any rates at all. Uh, so what I did was I, they offered to pay me some ludicrous amount of money. I'm like, it was actually quite a lot more than I expected. Mm. That is when I started seeing the value in me. Currently, for any uh, new uh, potential clients, my first meeting with them is free. I, mm. They need to engage with me because that's what I believe is one of my strong, strong points mm. is the engagement. It's knowing who is the business behind the business and who mm. is Chico uh, behind the big label. So that is the, my, my, one of my strong points is the yeah. engagement. So for any new client to have, I do meet with them for an hour just to talk. Yeah. Nothing to do with anything. Talk, give them, get a background. They know me. I get to know them. They can then decide from there. But you know what? I know that after the first meeting, it's, it's uh, they're so gone. Second line. <laughs> and, and with that, we need to take a <laughs> short break. I, we will continue after the break talking to Chico Chipunza from GAA Associates. She's seen your partner there, and we'll get to find out some more in terms of what they're doing with their brand. I need money. So I'm turning my home into cash. And just like that, I can take my kids to school, do home improvements, or even invest in my business. Maybe you have some unexpected medical bills, or you want to buy a new home. You can get a loan based on the value of your property. Don't sit on money. Get a home equity loan from CBZ today.
Welcome back to Business First. I am still with Chico Chipunza. Today is Wednesday and we focus on Women Business Wednesday. And the show today has been brought to you by CBZ Bank, who are our partners for success. Uh, Chico, before we went to the break, I think we got to understand the personal journey, the person behind driving the business. And I guess we want to get to understand a little bit the technicalities of actually running the business. Um, Tell us, what has been your success formula? business to date? Um, I am in a niche market. So GAA Associates is a niche market, small to medium scalers. Um, I don't know if this is politically correct, but there's a certain race, <laughs> color, there's a certain group of people that I've, I've man- I'm in, that I have access to. Um, maybe they, so that particular, so they've been the referrals in that community, mm. um, and it has really grown that way. Uh, another success formula has been the personal touch. So the bigger firms, shame, they've grown, obviously, mm. because of size. But because, thankfully, for our small size, we still have the personal touch. At some point, I was even phoning clients for birthdays, you know, especially in the early days. Oh, wow. Because, you know, it's, it's personal. I know mm. their birthdays. I've got their records. Um, but as a business grows, they still want, a business wants to feel in touch with the accountants, with mm. the bookkeepers. And we're checking up on them. So every so often, I have meetings with clients as in the apartment they say where's the business where's it growing I'm invested in their businesses because I'm interested yeah the growth of their business is the growth of our business mm. they should just not leave for the bigger firms but of course what yeah. I'm saying is as we they grow we grow so personal touch definitely is one of them yeah and I've always the mantra is you go crazy with your business leave us to be crazy with the paperwork mm. so they and then the farmer wants to know if his crops are doing well, if it's going to rain it's not enough to worry about yeah they don't worry about the tax returns so we say we take over their paperwork. Yeah. So they, we leave them to do the real money-making business. Mm. Mm. So that has been um, one of the success uh, features that let us run over and it's holistic. So there's, not a, there's no formula for one formula for every business. Yeah. Their business is unique. Yeah, so, I really like that. Let us go crazy with the paper. Yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> pretty, that's pretty amazing. And you touched on, I think, as an, an issue that a lot of entrepreneurs run into, which is a scaling challenge or... Right. Uh, a, a scaling hurdle yes. and in your case um, with the strong point of being a personal touch sort of business mm-hmm. and does that mean that if the book of clients has to grow you trim it down because you want to maintain that small niche uh, mm-hmm. clientele that you can give your personal touch to the ch- it has been a challenge but what it is is duplicating uh, ourselves so I'm a senior partner I've got a junior partner the team is growing why because what I'm basically saying is we we have to we are growing as a business and growth means taking on more but still maintaining the quality mm. and the personal touch so creating more chicos for example is what it is really duplicating so what okay. it means is it may, it may mean different levels entry level a first meeting it is with me or one of the other partner, but as we grow, we give the work to the associates, mm. to our consultants. But when it matters, when we have the meetings, and some call me in for board meetings, we sit on the boards and talk. Yeah. So that's what it is. So we still, I mean, they, but on, and they understand because definitely there's a personal touch, and I'm reassuring them. But the system works so that there's not much of that meetings and going in circles. It's really getting let's get the work done. Yeah. Give us the paperwork. We can do most of our work by email, we don't have to meet in person. Mm. But when it's important and there's need, we're there physically. I am there yeah. uh, for that personal touch. Yeah, it sounds like you're touching on a team on, on, on team issues here and yeah. um, about getting the DNA of the business right across your different team members in yes. your organization. Mm. Talk us through that. What how how are you building teams? What's 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 J Associates um, mantra for team? I want my associates not to feel like employees they have ownership when they have a client they bring on the client on board they mm. even have an option to say do you want to run this client for yourself personally or you want the t- team effort to work through the client 90 percent 99 percent it's let's work at th- with the client as a team so i'm loving that mm. um th- it's empowering them they run with the team they've got a p- portfolio they do the invoicing mm. they know they follow up their client if you bring in a client, um, you get commission. So there's ownership. So it's not yeah. a chico thing. It's uh, all it, we are associates, and for sure you've got you 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 want the life of the business to grow because it is they're invested in it. Mm. And um, I say come as unconventional as you are. 
Um, we don't have to wear formal, for example, because that's, it's not about the dressing, it's about your input. I want to be, them to be creative, to be motivated. Mm. So that's what I look for. So you come as you are. Okay, I work, you know, mostly, my, most, my team is mostly male dominated, but that's changing because we're having in, infusion. But what it is, is just that growth, that selflessness. Mm. And I've seen it a lot. It's, it's, it's good for the business. Sounds like a winning formula. Yeah. I cannot end the show before talking about the economic challenges that yes. are currently in, in uh, across business mm. sectors right now. Mm. And I'm curious to find out as a business, how are you managing the changes in the economy? So our clients have, are growing. So as they've changed and moved to the economy, they're also morphing. In terms of um, costs, we, we keep costs on a minimum. We do have an office in Greendale, very minimum. So we, if we cannot change our income, we'll minimize our costs as a business. But we've, we've had to dollarize in some instances in our service because I do want a motivated staff complement. Um, so what it means is at least pegged our fees at a certain f fee. Mm. Um, of course, it's up to the client in which currency to pay, but what it means in terms of motivation for our staff, in terms of wanting to stay afloat, that's definitely one. But in also growing the, the, <clears throat> the client base. Um, our clients have been very understanding and they're growing. What yeah. that means is they, so if, I, if we cannot have fees, for example, and kill the, the client, which is not necessary, we have been growing the, the client base in terms of having numbers. So mm -hmm. that works out. Uh, most people are learning the importance of paperwork yeah. and aligning with the systems, with statutory bodies. So there's more awareness mm -hmm. with the way the economy is also growing. It's just toughening up. It's calling for businesses to be more administratively strong. Mm -hmm. So that means we've got more work. And the referrals are coming in. Yeah, so yeah. you sound like you're very well positioned for this economy. Yeah. In, in a few seconds, future plans. Where is GAA Associates going in the next five years? Definitely, we need to improve on our technology. We don't have to spend hours in, in meetings. We're growing the team. Mm. We have more associates. We are even spreading more in terms of we don't have to be housed in the office. We can be have an associate in your system, in your company, and we work remotely from there. Mm -hmm. um, so it definitely it is growth because the customer base, client base rather, mm. is growing and there's more awareness. We are part of the Small to Medium Scale Enterprises Association of Zimbabwe. We are targeting more small to medium scalers to come through. We love youth and we're saying youth come, you are, you've got a small business, let's comply. Mm. So there's more awareness that in turn means more paperwork to be managed. Chico, any email address that our viewers and listeners can get a hold of you on? Definitely. Please drop an email on G A A dot A S S O C at gmail dot com. Okay. Should I repeat that? Oh, yes, please. G A A dot A S S O C at gmail dot com. Drop us an email and we'll respond to take us a maximum of thirty minutes. All right. Thank yeah. you so much again, Chico, for coming on to Business First. You Thank were you. our Woman Crush Wednesday for Business today, and we appreciate you coming on to the show. And all the best to GAA Associates. Thank you, Nyasha. That's all the time we had this morning. Thank you again for joining us. Um, just to remind you that this show was brought to you by CBZ Bank, who are our partners for success. I'm back again tomorrow for some more Business First interviews and business analysis and commentary. Until then, it's goodbye. God bless. Thank <laughs> you.